it today on um, the circle of seasonality. It's very exciting stuff. I created this chart because uh, I wanted to get a good picture of how you should be kind of managing your year uh, when it comes to pricing your property. We see a lot of folks kind of fall flat um, in the shoulder seasons, if you will. Um, and, uh, you know, next thing you know, it's the uh, middle of August and you look at your calendar and you're not getting any booking. You have no bookings for the next month and a half. Well, it's because those dates are more difficult to book and you needed to be paying attention like four months ago. And it's a little too late at that point for those types of, you know, months and seasons throughout the year. I also see a lot of folks that uh, don't pay any attention at all, quite frankly. And it seems like they just put their property on Airbnb and Verbo. Uh, they set price labs and never really do anything again. And then the next thing you know, they're getting a notification that they don't have enough money to cover their PITI, uh, their mortgage. Um, and it just doesn't work like that. You got to pay attention. Pricing is number one in short term, period. So I created the circle of seasonality um, to help you with this. OK, so let, let me explain what this looks like and, and hopefully it'll uh Give you a better, uh, uh, you know, an opportunity to, to to make a higher gross income. That's why we're here. Provide our guests a really nice place to stay, and of course, uh, you know, the possibility of uh, maybe making a little bit more dough along the way. So January, February, as you can tell here, these are hard to book. Degree of dif degree of difficulty down here. June and July very easy, um, and uh, March, April, October. Easy. And again, I should back up a little bit. This is going to depend on your market. Big differences in all markets. So um, you might be looking at this and saying, oh, this doesn't apply to me. You know, maybe a very snow filled area. I don't have much experience in those areas. So you're going to need to adapt, you know, uh, change your circle of seasonality based on your market and most likely the amount of sunshine versus snow you are getting. I also want to mention that uh, uh, Mountain is, uh, you know, going to be kind of generally a March 1st through December 31st situation. We'll get deeper into that. And then um, beach lake markets are going to be more uh, March 1st through October 31st. And then pretty much empty for November, December, January, and February, with the exception of the holidays and uh, a couple of other uh, variables, right? So uh, as I mentioned, you know, the colors here are going to determine uh, how difficult the month is to book in general, like in August, November, December are going to be, you know, middle of the road. Um, May and September are difficult. And January and February are pretty much uh, no man's land. You know, you're not going to get them. Now, there is an exception to that, obviously, with a snowbird. If you have a smaller property, you could get a lease on the property for a couple of months in the wintertime and, and then maybe force yourself up to 80, 90 percent occupancy for the year. So. Obviously, there are a lot of variables in what I'm talking about here today, but for the most part, um, it is going to be a great way to kind of, you know, figure out how to price your property uh, throughout a 12-month period, okay? So in January, I do recommend what, you, what you're seeing here is what I, I recommend that you should be working on May. May is difficult. Kids are back to school. Spring break is over. Party time is over. It's getting really hot outside, you know. Um, we're getting ready to prepare for summer vacations in May and people are just not really hitting the road as much, not flying as much in May. So you need to be kind of tickling and tweaking your May as early as January, February. You want to work on March and May, March. You want to work on April and May. As you can see, there's a, a common denominator here. May needs a lot of attention. Okay. Um, April, you want to kind of finalize your summer nights, you know, hopefully your June and July are filling in nicely at this point and um and then we can uh basically just fill in what's left you know maybe your weekends are full but you got some weekdays you need to deal with in the uh, june and july area and you can do that in your march and april months um and then by the time may rolls around may needs to be filled i can't tell you how often i see folks posting on the internet or emailing me texting me what i love that please contact me i love hit me up i'll do my best to help you but if you're looking at your calendar May 1st and you don't have any bookings in May, it's too late. You know, you might get some stragglers here and there by just bumping your prices way down low. But quite frankly, it's probably too late. So May, you need to be filling in your summer gaps and working on September as early as May. You've got to be working on September, okay? June, August, and September. As you can see, September and May are both three, more kind of a three-month strategy to get those months booked. They're difficult. Um, 
Uh, August and September starts in June. August is, in some cases, slightly easier than September. Uh, you do have the first two months of the two weeks of the month uh, are very heavy tourism. You know, that's kind of the end of the summer. Uh, blow it out. You know, let's take the kids one last trip to the beach before it gets cold outside and before they go back to school, that kind of thing. Um, so we're going to work on August as early as June. We're going to come up with our fall strategy and continue to work on September and, uh, you know, some August in there as well in July. And then as early as August, um, we should be working on the holidays. Uh, the first two weeks of uh, November and December are very difficult to book. OK, so you got to work on those as early as August. This is when your house should start to switch to smelling like pumpkins and apples, as opposed to over here where it needs to smell like uh, beaches and cocktail umbrellas. You know, uh, I know it's a really weird analogy, but it works in my brain. Right. So um, holiday strategy needs to be kind of taken in place here. I, w I wouldn't mind a, a Thanksgiving being booked as early as August. You know, I wouldn't mind maybe a little bit of Christmas uh, action happening, maybe some some inquiries as far as Christmas and New Year's. I don't know that I need it booked that early, but if it does start to get some action, eh, I'm okay with it. You know, um, June, July, probably a little too early for some holiday action. And then September, what we're going to do is finalize our holiday strategy and figure out what we're going to charge and what our minimum night stay is going to be for our holidays and continue to tweak that as, as it uh, becomes necessary to get it booked. Um, and we're also formulating a plan now for January and February. We want our January and February, I mean, first and foremost, it needs to be available. 100% needs to be available. Uh, you know, earlier in this uh, 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 early fall, uh, maybe summertime, make sure they're available because these are throwaway dates. Any stragglers you can pick up in January and February uh, without the, the holidays in there are, are great. We'll get more into, into that in just a minute. So September, we're going to fi finalize our holidays, get our January and February juices flowing a little bit, you know. And then October, October should be a fairly easy month to book, assuming you don't go too high on your prices. I see a lot of folks that are uh, very excited about October and think that they got this, you know, huge uh, diamond in the rough there with October, month, month number 10. And uh, a lot of times it uh, can backfire and you end up pricing it too high. So October, again, fairly easy, but don't. Uh, make any mistakes there. November, we're filling in winter gaps. December, we're filling in winter gaps. If you're in a beach market, you're getting ready to take off the next three months and don't have to worry about it, which is fantastic. In a beach market like I have down here, you're going to make most of your gross income, you know, in a nine, 10 month period, eight, nine, 10 month period. And that's fantastic. I love that. In the wintertime, I don't have to work as hard. I just make sure I cram my calendars as much as possible from March until October. And then I get a little bit of breathing room here in the wintertime. I can focus on my less seasonal properties and do some rehabs, things like that. So, again, January, dead, crickets. Uh, well, actually, let's back up. Let's talk uh, November and December. November, first two weeks, garbage. Those are pretty much worthless dates. Um, and uh, you do have, uh, of course, Thanksgiving. That's a huge 10-day period, give or take. I would probably want... A four night, five night, and bump your minimum night stay up a little bit, depending on the size of your property, obviously, and uh, and keep those prices for Thanksgiving pretty high. You know, if you're if you're not getting any action at all on Thanksgiving by say September, maybe early October at the latest, then you do you do need to get that uh, November trickle, you know, tickle it to get it some action, and probably go ahead and get it booked as early as uh, early October. I would I would say is probably the sweet spot there for me personally. Same thing with December. November and December are almost identical, except for December, you do have the space between Christmas and New Year's. Now, technically, in my opinion, 26th of December through January, mm, you know, maybe December 29th, those three or four days are kind of worthless. Uh, we do want to hope that we can get those included with a booking uh, for Christmas or Jan or, or uh, uh, New Year's. In other words, if I can fill in that whole, like, 14-day period with really – Awesome, lengthy, maybe two bookings would be really ideal uh, for your uh, Christmas uh, strategy there. And then once January rolls around, work crickets. You know, in most markets, uh, you need to have as much January as you're probably going to get. I would say as early as 1st of December it needs to start having a little bit of action. Smaller properties will trickle in slowly over time um, as the dates get closer. Will be much less lead time in January and February. Uh, the lead time... Uh, is 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 huge there. If you can get some bookings way out for January and February, that's going to really pump up your January and February. 
but you will get a slow uh, trickle on the short lead time, especially on a smaller property for Jan Feb. If you have a really you know, um, desirable, popular property, you will get a little action there, especially if it's small. But you got to, you got to, you know, you got to put in, put in the effort. Uh, February is almost identical to January, except for it does have more holidays. So you got a couple of holidays here in these terrible, uh, hard to book months. Um, you've got uh, MLK, you've got uh, uh, Valentine's, uh, President's Day. So those, you know, you'll get a little action there for sure. And again, this is uh, this is not if you're in a v- if you got a lot of snow. Uh, this conversation is going to be a little different. This is uh, not uh, this. This is almost every market, in my opinion, excluding a heavy, heavy, heavy ski market, Colorado, uh, Utah. Those markets are going to be a little different. Obviously, you're going to be probably pretty slammed in January and February. So opposite of what I'm talking about here. But the majority of the United States, uh, what I'm talking about goes uh, holds true here um, uh, with the circle of seasonality. Uh, one more thing I want to touch on is what do I mean by work on it? What does that mean, work on it? Well, you know, you got four elements to an Airbnb listing or a Verbo listing. You got description. All right, let me start at the top. You got title, pictures, pricing, and availability uh, slash popularity. How 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 booked am I? And I looped that in there with pricing. And then you got your description. So you got four elements to the listing. Those need to be worked on a lot, especially for slower periods of time. Move your pictures every day. OK, for for um, uh, trying to get uh, 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 September and May bookings, move those pictures, change your headline. May special in February. Put a put a headline. that says May special. March and April are going to do their thing, man. They're going to fill in. You know, you don't really have to worry about that too much. Uh, you know, don't don't uh, get caught with your pants down. But May is difficult. You've got to show it the attention that it needs and the respect that it needs because the kids are back in school. Uh, so changing prices constantly, changing your description, uh, back to school special. Uh, May prices are uh, 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 lower. Than, you know, you know, keep it short and sweet, obviously. But I like to I like to think of it like I'm selling clothing. You know, as the uh, as the seasons roll on, you sell the you sell the product uh, at the early part of the season for high dollar, and then at the end of the season, it's just rotten eggs. You got to get rid of it. You know, so. Um, put it on sale, get it out the door, work on it. That's what I mean by work on it. Put it on sale. You are a salesman at the end of the day. We are selling a product. That product is our house and our hospitality. Okay. So, um, number one thing I'm talking about here is showing your guests a good time, giving them a good product, giving them an awesome house to do, to have their vacation and they deserve it. But, uh, when, when times are tough and you look at your calendar and you're not booked, go back to the circle of seasonality, get back on track. If you look up and it's it's August 1st and your August and September are dead, it's going to take you four, five, six months to catch that up. You know, you got to catch back up. So, um, you know, get working on those difficult months sooner than later and you will have success, more bookings, higher gross income. Everybody's happy providing great vacations for hardworking Americans. I love you from the short-term shop. Long hair Luke cash flow cards.